Hey players, it's your Osama playing just one more hour and today we're going to be playing Dungeon Fighter Online. They had a new update, we got this new class called the Agent, he's pretty sick. This is what we're going to be playing today. Before I start this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to one more hour for more guides, gameplay, and overall gaming content this channel will provide. Without further ado, let's just get into this. Um, something I have to explain about the Agent first. Pretty much this Agent class he uses uh, SMG, a uh, sub machine gun, and uh, Odachi, aka a giant katana. So, basically, he has three different types of skills. He has shooting skills, combination skills, well, shooting skills, sword play skills, and combination skills. C combination skills are pretty much just sword play plus shooting skills. And he has this passive right here, Season Specialist. Get at level 25. 25 right here, yeah. And whenever you use, it says your sword play combination skills, except for certain common skills, can be cancelled into certain shooting skills. So what this means is that whenever you use a shooting skill, at the end of the animation, like the post casting delay, you can cancel it with a uh, sword play or combination skills. That's why I have all the combination sword play skills on the bottom and all the shooting skills on the top so that I can make it be easier for myself. Then he has a buff here, which is pretty cool. So anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this. Uh, right now we're in the part whenever we're fighting against the Lotus, the Apostle that can control minds. So yeah, we're just with this dude. Uh, you got these GBL priests, I don't know what they are, but they're being controlled by Lotus, so. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? Okay, so about the skills, uh, let's just uh, show off my skills. You see, we got this skill called Overwatch, which is funny. Uh, this shoots a bunch of things, and then we have- oh, let's mash button. Anyway, so we got this skill, which is like a agile maneuver too, which is pretty much just for maneuvering, of course, but yeah. But they do have the event for the agent leveling up, so if you create an agent right now, then you'll get some nice benefits, uh, some uh, boosts and stuff like that. Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head I'm gonna live inside the upside down For a minute and pretend Honey, I'm a perfect ten Whoa. Alright, so now there's a boss here, uh, this dude, Abitra Markless, which we don't get to fight him, okay. Alright, so right now we just find this guy, he's actually a good guy, um, he's um, partners with one of the people that we saved, but yeah, you just have to defeat Lotus, he's causing some havoc. And if I say it enough, it gets ingrained in my head, and I start to see. So we got this guy over here. Now, okay, so he decided to uh, uh, double cross us. So, all right, we have to. Let me super hold him. Super hold. Oh, wrong. All right, so let's. I don't know what that field was, but whatever. Super hold. All right, this guy should be done inside of like a few moments. What, what, what skill to kill him with? I like this skill. Yeah, yeah, that skill is just flings them into the air and shoots them. It's not really a range skill, so it's mainly used for bossing. But yeah, it's a pretty nice skill. All right, so this dungeon seems to be longer, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be whenever we actually meet the behemoth. I'm pretty sure or lotus. I don't remember which one. Uh, I have a level 63 um, hellkite, but I'm not. I haven't played that inside of a long time. Sex 
expectations they keep weighing me down my heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head i'm blind i live inside the upside down for a minute and pretend honey i'm a perfect 10 So we got here a little cutscene. This is going to be the Lotus. And if you guys didn't know uh, what was actually happening, uh, basically Lotus took, kind of took over um, Augusto, I, I believe that's his name. And basically now we just got him back. So let's see. This is the long-legged Lotus, ruler of the ocean. Obey me. Submit to me. Dedicate your lives to your masters. This Lotus is kind of a kind of spooky, isn't he? What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out Alright guys, I'm pretty sure we're going to be finding the Lotus right now. Uh, Alright, so, this is the Lotus. He's just like some octopus thingy. I don't know if this one will be that hard since it is just the beginning fight. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to fight him again. Ow, it got knocked down. Yes, put to sleep. Ow. Okay, I forgot how you do the back step thingy inside this game, but anyway. We should be able to defeat him relatively quickly. Yeah, alright. The Apostle Lotus has been taken down. And if I say it enough, it gets ingrained in my head. And I start to think, honey, I'm a perfect day.
Anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of this episode. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to One More Hour for more DFO content, more gameplay, and other games. That you can recommend me some games inside of the, inside of the comment section. But yeah, that's going to be it. This is L, logging out.